Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I have two really fun punch art cards for you. So let's get started and I'll show you what we're gonna make. So if you watch my Paper Pumpkin alternative video this month, I taught you how to make this card right here. But I shared how this card was actually the inspiration for the two cards that I'm gonna teach you how to do today. Are you ready to see them? Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Meet Lindsay and Sarah. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to make these two cute cards. Okay, for both of the cards, we need the same card base. This is Whisper White, four and a quarter by 11, folded in half. The next two pieces are gonna be a little bit different. For my Lindsay card, I'm gonna be using a three and a quarter by four of Whisper White. And for my Sarah card, I'm going to be using a four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White. Both of these have been bossed with the winter snow embossing folder. Now I'm going to take this piece here, the three and a quarter by four, and I'm going to add some adhesive. And I'm going to mount this onto shaded spruce that's three and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Now I'm gonna need this exact same dimension for my Sarah card. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. However, on the Sarah card, this white piece here is not going to be embossed because I've embossed the background. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and adhere the embossed background. All right, for the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these onto the front of the card. For our next step, we're gonna do their outfits. So I'm gonna start with a piece of one and three fourths by three and a quarter, Tis the Season Designer Series paper. Now for Lindsay's card, I wanted it to look like an ugly Christmas sweater. So I'm going to round the top two corners on both of these pieces, but I'm gonna make sure that the candy canes are facing in the right direction when I do the corner rounding. Okay, so I've rounded both of the corners with a detailed trio punch. Now I'm gonna put these together and then using a two inch circle punch, I'm going to just line this up right in the center and I'm going to punch just a tiny little bit out of this piece here. So it's gonna be not even a quarter of the circle. Okay, so now we have formed our little neckline for both of these punch art pieces. Okay, so that one's gonna go there and that one's gonna go there. All right, the other pieces that we're gonna need, I've already pre-punched. For Lindsay, we need a half of a two inch circle and a full two inch circle. And for Sarah, we need the same, half of a two inch circle and the two inch circle. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is stamp their faces. I'll be using this cute image here from the Cute Fruit stamp set. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. So I'm going to ink up the face and then I'm going to stamp Lindsay's face right there. And then I'll move this one up and I'm going to stamp Sarah's face right there. Okay, and then I'm going to change the faces a tiny little bit by using a black pen and I'm going to draw in a wider smile. So I'm just going to draw it in like that on both of the faces and then I'm gonna color them in. Okay, so now I've colored in the smiles and it's just given it a different look. And then I'm going to be adding rosy cheeks with the flirty flamingo. I'm gonna be using a light flirty flamingo on Lindsay's face. And then I'll be using dark flirty flamingo for Sarah's cheeks. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is adhere these pieces down. So I'm gonna start with the sweater and then I'm only gonna put adhesive along the bottom and on the sides and I'm going to put a little bit here at the top and I'm gonna leave the neckline open and I'll do the same for both of these. Okay. 
For my next step, I'm going to glue in the body. So this is a half of a two inch circle punch. I'm going to add some adhesive and I'm going to slide this underneath the collar. Okay, next for the base of the hair, we're going to be using a two and a quarter circle punch. This is gonna be the one for Sarah and then a two and a quarter circle punch for Lindsay. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down. Okay, now on Sarah's hair, I'm gonna be using a new punch um, that I, I haven't used this for hair before. And this is the Label Me Lovely Punch, which is perfect because Sarah is a very lovely person. So we're gonna use two of these Label Me Lovelies to create some beautiful textured hair. And so the hair is going to kind of go off to the side like that and to the side like that. So you just need to make sure that the hair doesn't extend over the edge of the cardstock. So I wanna just kind of push it up there and you can always take your the face and you can kind of line it up there to get the positioning, but that looks about right. So let me go ahead and tack these down. So now we're gonna do something different with the face. So if you'll remember my little paper pumpkin girl here, she didn't have any ears, but I'm gonna go ahead and add ears because these two are off to a holiday party. So I want them to look really festive and I'm gonna be adding earrings to this card. So the way that I got the ears is with our butterfly punch. So here's Lindsay's and here's Sarah's. And so now I'm gonna be using just a side of the butterfly and the ear is a little bit pointy. If I was making a little elf, this would be perfect. So if it bothers you, um, you can either rough it, rough it up with your fingernail, you could take scissors and kind of curl it a little bit, um, or like in, in this case, I'll just try to cover the tip of the ears with the hair or embellishments that I add to the card. So let me go ahead and just add a little bit of adhesive. And then I'm going to slide this under and kind of tuck it in and I want to make sure that the bottom half sticks out because that's where we're going to be um, putting the earrings and I'll do the same thing on the opposite side I'm just going to take that sharp edge off the corner and then put on the second ear over here Okay, now let me get Lindsay's ears on. The next thing I'm gonna use is some dimensionals. So I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals on the back and I'll put those dimensionals over the butterfly um, punch so that'll help to secure them on there. And so we're going to just have Sarah, Sarah's face right here. And then Lindsay's face right here. I think this is the first time I've ever built two of these at the same time. <laughs> okay, but there's a few differences between them. And so that's what we're gonna get to next. Okay, so let me put on like there. So now we're gonna do the rest of the hair. So for Sarah here, I have a half of a two inch circle punch. I'm going to go ahead and add a little texture by cutting out a little triangle. And then I'll place two dimensionals in the back. And then we're going to give her some bangs, just like that. All right, and then for Lindsay, now if you know Lindsay, she has some really cool, fashionable, um, hair. She has this cute little pixie cut. And so I'm going to make her hair with the tailored tag punch. So I'm actually going to show you how I punched it. So I went ahead and I put the punch in there just as if I was going to punch it whole, but instead then I'm going to bring it down until I get that sharp 
corner right there. So I'm gonna have this shape and then I'm gonna punch that out. So that is gonna be her bangs. Look at that, it looks perfect. <laughs> and then I'm going to take and just take the a little top of the Taylor tag punch, just that top part right there. And that is going to be the side of her hair. That fell so nicely. You would think that I was a hairdresser or something, wouldn't you? But I'm totally not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that a little bit. And so now I have this piece here. Let me line this up here and see how this is gonna look. So I want that really cute, sharp edge right there on the side of her face. And then I'm gonna have the hair coming over like that. So I think that looks pretty good. So let me stick this down. see here how I'm going to cover the tip of her ear like that. This ear is going to be sticking out, but that's okay because remember, this card is going to be inspired by this card, which means I'm going to make some really fun hair embellishments for her. Okay, so now the next step is going to be to add our earrings. So for Lindsay, she's going to be having um, some diamond earrings. For Sarah, I'm going to use the Gilded Gems to give her some gold earrings. So now we're going to work on their hair embellishment. So we're going to do some stamping for that. So I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to be using some of the images from the Peace and Joy stamp set. I'll be using this stamp here, the holly and the berries, and then this little um, branch there. All right, so here's the colors I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the Granny Apple Green, and I'll be using this stamp here, and I'm going to stamp two of this. Next, I'm going to be using this image here with Garden Green ink, and I'll be stamping two of these. Then I have Shaded Spruce ink, and I'll be stamping two like this, and then I'll just stamp one more. So it'll be three of the hollies with shaded spruce. And then the final stamp I'm going to use is the little berries. And I'm only gonna put berries on these two here, and I'm not gonna put it there. All right, also, since we're doing our stamping, I'm going to be using the Peace and Joy stamp set because if you'll remember, this card said sending joy. So with this stamp set, I'm gonna be able to say the exact same sentiment. I'm gonna use the, the um, dies to, to create the word joy, which I've already done here. Then I'm gonna be stamping sending using my Memento black ink. And I'll stamp that on this scrap paper as well. So all of my stamping is done. I'm gonna then fussy cut this but I know you don't wanna watch me do that, so I have it all done, and I have all my little pieces here. I'm using the word joy for this card, and the way that I adhered this is by taking my take your pick tool, and I just pick it up. So I'm just going to just lightly dab some liquid glue on the back of that, and then using my take your pick tool, I'll just flip this around, and I will adhere that to that other piece. So that's on there. Let me let that dry for a minute and now I'll, I'll go ahead and add the flowers to their hair. All right, so I'm gonna snip off the end of this. I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue and I'm going to slide this underneath her hair so that it comes out on the side like that. And I'll do the same thing for both of the girls. Then the next one is this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive behind this. And then I want this one to sweep down on the front and come across the front of her hair like that. And then on my Sarah card, I'm gonna have her have it right over there by that part in her bangs. All right, and then the next one will be 
this one here, which I'm actually going to adhere with a mini dimensional. So put a mini dimensional on that. And then this is going to go up here like this. And then I'll do the same on the other card as well. And then I have the single leaf. I'm going to use a little mini dimensional behind that. You could glue this one flat if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and put that behind there. And then on Lindy, I'm going to just go like that. I'm going to adjust Sarah's this tiny little bit. That looks better. Okay. All right, for the next step, I'm going to be using Wonderful Gems, and I will be using three large ones, and I'm going to just put these over the berries on their little hair piece. Okay, and then for the words here, we're gonna apply this with some mini dimensionals. And I'll do that on both cards. Okay, so we have our word joy on both cards. Now I'm placing dimensionals behind the little word sending that I stamped and cut out, and I'll be placing that on both cards next to the word joy. Okay, our cards are almost complete. Now the only thing missing is that I did say that these two are off to a Christmas party. So Lynn's needs a little bit more bling on her sweater and Sarah here, she's gonna get a lot more fancier with her outfit. So the first thing that I wanna do is add some buttons here. So I'm gonna take a little scrap of Tis the Season DSP and I'm going to add two dimensionals behind it. And then I'm going to put this on the front of her dress. And then I'll use my Gilded Gems as buttons. So I'm going to place three of them on the front of this as buttons. Okay, the last thing that I did was take some of the wonderful gems and some red rhinestones. And on Sarah, I just really embellished her little dress or sweater with all kinds of red rhinestones. So as you can see, I used wonderful gems in the holly in her hair. I used the gilded gems, the larger size for earrings, and then the smaller ones for buttons on the front of her outfit. And then I just added tons of red rhinestones in clusters and singles to cover her sweater. So that's her. For Lindsay here, I just really focused on this line of candy canes here. And I went ahead and just added um, the wonderful gems, the smaller one down here at the center of the candy canes. Then I added some rhinestones and with these, I colored them in with the dark shaded spruce Stampin' Blends marker. And now she is already in her cute little holiday sweater. So there you go, my two cards are complete. So I'm gonna be sending these special ladies, these cards that I created with them in mind. And I wanna say a special thanks to all of you for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope that you will come back and stamp with me again soon. Until then, aloha.